Well, here we are with uh, When God Was a Rabbit <laughs> by Sarah Women. It's a debut novel. It's fantastic. It's incredibly warm. In fact, one of the warmest and most affectionate books I think I've ever read. Um, and I'm going to ask you first of all, <laughs> When God Was a Rabbit. I yes. mean, I know this because I've read it, yes. but God is, in fact, a rabbit. God is a rabbit, yes. He given to given to the sort of heroine Ellie, yes. short for Eleanor, um, in this book by her brother that's Joe, right. who absolutely adores her, and that's the key to the whole book. Really, it's about family, yes, family love and family relationships. Yes. Tell us about Ellie. Um, Ellie has been pretty much brought up by her brother. Mm. Uh, her brother is five years older. She's very inquisitive. Um, she's full of life. She's very influenced by him, who is he's a delightful character who's trying to forge his own way through life, and he's a little bit different. Yeah. He's not the norm of mm. that period. And um, they bond and they early on they share a secret. And it's at this point that Joe decides to give Ellie a rabbit mm. um, in order to keep her kind of safe. And, and the secret the secret they share is quite dark. It's very dark. But but basically because and, and the, the the book doesn't shy away from dark stuff at all in any way, shape or form. But actually what it's all about is the triumph of love and, um, and, and relationships over dark stuff. I yes. mean, the Ellie stuff, I think I can say, is a, is a, a deeply uh, strange sexual um, occurrence with a much older man yes. when she's very young. She's only about four, isn't she? Yes. So that's quite a lot for her to get over. Yeah. Um, and he helps her too. But also the rest of the family are fantastic. Her parents are fantastic, aren't they? They're real characters. I think, I think they are. I think what I wanted to present was, I mean, you know, it is a homage to family, and it's a homage to, to, to what you're talking about. It's probably the ideal of family. Yeah. It's, it's looking back and trying to, looking back from this period in time where I am, where I can look back faced with parents' mortality and start to think about what family really means mm. and how we create, it's not just the blood tie of family, it's the extended family of, of how we bring our friendships into family. And I think that was very important. And I hope that's sort of reflected that each person is very loving and is very open and is very non-judgmental. Yes. And, but at the same time, nobody is unaffected by life. Mm. No, but, but things happen all the way through the book, which we know from observation of our friends and reading the newspapers, would destroy other families, would rip them apart, would polarise them. But it doesn't happen in, in this case. The, no. the, 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 as you say, the, the power of love and the healing power of forgiveness and understanding is, is what actually makes them, it seems to me in the book, constantly better people. They, they constantly, through all the trials and, and the tribulations that they have to go through, they always seem to emerge stronger and wiser. I think so, but I think that's because what I wanted to do is I didn't want to stop the narrative. Whenever there was a moment, I didn't want to judge it, I didn't want to give a critique on it, mm -hmm. I didn't want to explore it. It just happened. It just happened. Mm. Let's go to the narrative, because it is very long. It spans four decades, yes. in fact, from the time when um, Ellie is a, a little girl, age four, into the time when she's grown up in her 40s. Um, and that, that's quite a challenging thing for someone to do. You wrote and about the 70s brilliantly, I have to say. <laughs> Having, I'm just sort of old enough to remember them. Yeah. Um, you, you really captured that. And, of course, the, the Queen's Jubilee and all mm. of that. Uh, you, you got, I mean, how old would you have been in the 70s, roughly? I'm not passing to um, betray your age. But. No, no, no. I, I was born in 64. So, okay. uh, right, so you'd have yes, clear memories then of all that. Very clear memories. The Jubilee yeah. in 77, yes. wasn't it? Yeah. And is the narrative, I mean, it's a silly question. I know authors resist it like mad, but is there quite an autobiographical aspect to this, or did you just build on a kernel of your own life? No, I, I, it's not autobi autobiographical, but it's very personal. Right. And that's, you know, it is. It's the, the house in Essex that is described was where I grew up. It's the street where I grew up. Right. Um, the village in Cornwall as yes. we've spoken about, it yeah. was where I grew up as a child and have spent summers, 40 years of mm. summers there. Yeah, I love the Cornish bit. And, and so, I, you so know, it's familiar. Yeah. You yeah. know, these lives that are lived down there are very familiar. Yeah. Um, much as the people in the book are not actual people, they're an amalgam of many right. people. What I have been lucky to have around me are very loving, very funny people that I can you know, use. I must admit, as, as an Essex boy, I, was, I too was born in Essex, um, I, I recognised so many Essex references, and there were affectionate references as opposed yeah. to taking, extracting sort of mirth from being Essex born. Which exactly. Is nice, nice to read, I'm very proud of my county. And then when you moved it to Cornwall, where indeed we, we live, yes. I was just in seventh heaven. Um, especially <laughs> as you mentioned places that we go to and yes. we, we, we live near. Um, I, and I thought the sense of place was very important to the book. But what really struck me at its core, you, you're the writer, maybe you'll say I've got this all wrong, is 
is this this binary star system of brother and sister. Mm. It's so important to the book. It's what the it's, it's everything revolves around that. And I wonder what you thought about the um, the tradition of, 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 of stories about siblings mm. in, in writing in books and novels. I mean, were you were you conscious of the strength of that when you set out to write it? I wasn't conscious of it at all. I knew that I wanted to write about a brother and sister because what I wanted was a, a relationship that started in childhood hmm. and would travel through to adulthood. And there is only that, really. And do, course, you have, do you have a brother? I have a brother. Older or younger? Older. Okay. Two years older, okay. not five. Okay. All right. Has he read I, it? He has read it. Does I, he like it? He does. Uh -huh. Does he see I, himself in it? Um, I don't think... I don't know. You'd have to ask him. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it's not my brother. No, no, but, no, 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 no. But um, Joe isn't your brother. We, we I think he that. loves the fact that people might think he is. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Joe, and um, I think Joe is a lovely character, and who he wouldn't? Is. So I think. And I like the fact that, that there's something exclusive about the this bond between the brother and sister, exclusive to the parents. It's it something. Is. It's something for them that yeah. only really they have, and only they really understand. I was very touched by that. I think so, but. Uh, but I think also what happens in the second half of the book, that exclusivity um, becomes damaging. Mm. Mm. And so it's not perfect. Mm. It was created um, to help them both through life, mm. which is what most sibling mm. units do. You know, mm -hmm. that's what you hope. My sister saved my life. There you, go. there you go. I think, you know, Joe probably did in Ellie in many ways and yep. vice versa. And I think that's true. I think it is. It's a separate bond. It's a bond mm. that does hold secrets far more than... Mm. Um, uh, child-parent relationships. I must say also that one of the great joys of the book is the characters who come into the family from outside. I mean, they're amazing. They're just so beautifully written. And it is, in many, many ways, absolutely hilarious. Mm. There are, we make it sound a little bit maybe sort of about love and it does encompass crisis and everything, but it is also incredibly funny. And I love the father's sister. Nancy. Who's, <laughs> yes, who's, who's this gay film star. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I just loved all that. And then the kind of, the, the lovely, uh, what's, what's his name? I've forgotten his name now. The, the elderly guy, Arthur, who comes in towards the end. This elderly foppish, again gay, but sort of terribly, terribly funny character. And it, it's like a huge family, isn't it? Mm. They yes. just all get drawn into well, the that, central that great, unit. There's a great mm. scene you write very early in the book about the street party for the Queen's Jubilee. Yes. It's hilarious. I mean, everybody getting steadily more and more pissed. You know, terrible things happening that should never happen under the, under the moon or the sun. Um, and, and actually the, the father figure trying to put things right towards the very end. Yes, you know, there's having, always having, one, isn't there? Having a few words with, with, with the, right, the right people. Um, that was beautifully drawn, that, that street party. That's and lovely. Then, it made me wonder, had you, had you been to one? Had you been to a, 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 a Jubilee street party? Not like that. No? Um, it was pretty wild. It was wild, but I, you know, I, I imagine, I mean, I didn't write the aftermath, but I always imagine that things like that, um, then they Would go back to normal, happened. don't they? Yeah. Then yes. you pass your neighbour and they say, just, hello. Yeah. Morning. <laughs> yeah. Morning. It's all tucked away. <laughs> all these drunken embraces. Yeah, all, all of yeah, that, exactly, you know, yeah. as you're wiping the lipstick yeah. off, it's just, it all has to go back to how it was, because, you know, that's life, yeah. and that's life in those neighbourhoods. Well, yeah. I have to tell you, and we both feel this very strongly, it's a book the like of which we haven't quite ever read before. Um, mm. it, in a style and in a form that, that really is unique. Congratulations, it's, well, a, it's, it's so a wonderful much. work. And it's your, your debut no novel. Yes, it's so. first published. Um, Are you I writing another now? I am. I, I snuck in a little one before that one, but it was a much smaller novel. Right. Okay. Um, and so I'm starting another one at the yeah. moment. Um, well, slowly fantastic. So we can both recommend well, When, the, the, when the, God Was a Rabbit. This is wonderful lovely. Title. I mean, really, When Thank God Was so a Rabbit, much. it's a lovely book to read. And, you know, if you do read it over the summer, it will enhance your summer. <laughs> no it certainly will. Thank you very much. Sarah. Thank you, nice to to Thank you. you for reading it. Thank, Thank you, you so great much. Read. Thank you. Uh, and if you want to know more about the book club, more about this book, uh, read our reviews of this book or any of the other books uh, that we're reviewing, uh, you go to www.whsmith.co.uk forward slash Richard and Judy. <laughs>